Hi, it's Ray from Biggin and Scott in Dalesford, just doing a quick little video tour through 12 Miller Street. I'll do it in short bursts so we haven't got too many big file sizes, so I'll just flip the phone around and off we go. So I'm just here on the Miller Street side, just panning across the front of the, the property. You can see the elevation there, just up the street, just looking south towards Dalesford Township, that's the neighbourhood. House across the road was the crazy cat lady's house that's been totally renovated and resold recently. So there's some pretty smart little houses down down through here and then looking back up north to um, the end of Hospital Street. I'll just take you for a walk up the garden path now up to the house. So we're on the the block at the front of Miller Street. the paling fences on the southern boundary there and the same on the other side with a bit of mesh in there starting to see some of the views to the front of the house a little bit of sun there I'll try and get some unglary vision so as far as I'm aware the subdivision boundary is on this post here pretty much right along the front of the veranda to the other side so we'll just go up the steps and we'll go inside show you the views from the veranda here the condition of the linings looks like cement sheeting under there it's relatively new I suspect that's probably just um, cement not asbestos Back and around the views over towards Vincent Street North and Wombat Hill. We're just coming in the entry hallway now. A bedroom to the right. Some quite high ceilings. No built in robes. relatively new carpet. I think that was only put down about 12 months ago. There's our electrical switch. And the hydraulic system here as well. Bedroom to the left as well. A little ceiling rose. It's been fairly recently painted. Hydronic panel in there. Another small hydronic panel here in the hallway and also in that first bedroom. I missed that. There's still the old gas furnace heater, but I think that's now redundant. So we'll go down here, a little step up into the sitting room. So we're just stepping up into the sitting room now. Little coved ceilings. I'm not sure the material in here, possibly. Masonite. All the way through to the kitchen. Stone fireplace with a window. Another hydronic panel there. Lovely white door on the hallway. And that matches the one on the front door. And here now to the third smaller bedroom in the study area. Once again, we've got a little coved ceiling. Sash windows in reasonable nick. Sliding door. And one more hydronic panel in here. Now through to the kitchen. So it's still an old section of the house with the coved ceiling. Pretty big space, but I think we do need a fair bit of subfloor work in here. The floor's a little bit on the soft side. Hydraulic panel, back door, more built-ins, back to the hallway. So we'll just 
completing the kitchen here. We've got another gas heater, which I think is redundant. The old stove fireplace alcove there. Sink through to the bathroom. Sort of bright bathroom with a, a spa shower. Spa bath, toilet, vanity, hydronic panel, and then we've got the the glass conservatory style roof here. There has been some work done that over the years. I think some tenants have indicated there was a bit of leakage that's been rectified. And laundry, just under the old veranda warning side here. Washing taps and the second toilet as well. That's pretty much the interiors. I'll go out the back now and have a look around and show you the views from at the top of the hill. So I'm just outside the kitchen door now, looking down the little pathway, gate at the end. You can see the condition of some of the weatherboards on the north side here. We're on the lower areas there, paling fence. And Looking up the pathway there, so some more work to be done along the baseboards. And around the back of the house. So this whole kitchen bathroom area probably does need a fair bit of work. So around behind the laundry. path and have a look at the views. Just looking up towards Hearts Lane boundary there, so securely fenced. A few little terraced garden areas. There's some car parking area there that comes off Hearts Lane. Across the back of the house. You can see the, the roof condition. Starting to see those views and just take you right up to the, the top so the car park area is um, is elevated at the the front there it's been built up with retaining walls up to the top of the terrace so looking out towards the hearts lane properties behind neighboring property of hearts lane and the big swing around to the Wombat Hill and Dalesford Township. So we're just here now on Hearts Lane along the back of the property. It's the car parking there. North, oh sorry, south of Old Hearts Lane and the property's opposite. And there we have it. Talk soon.